All right, everyone. So now we're going to talk about the third type of tableau calculations. We have the LOD expressions or LOD calculations. It is another type in order to aggregate the data in Tableau. And here we have only three functions. We have fixed, include, and exclude. And as usual, first we have to understand the concept behind them. Then we can have enough examples in Tableau. So let's go. Alright guys, so now we can understand when do we need LOD expressions in Tableau using this very simple example. So let's say we are building a view where we have the category informations and the product name and now we are showing the total sales for each product. And now by looking to those two dimensions, you can understand that the product name is controlling the level of details in our view. So we have five products and with that we got five rows. So the product name is splitting the rows of this table. But now we come to the issue if you want to show in the same view in the same dimensions and setup, you want to show the total sales for each category. Well, we cannot do that as long as we have the product name inside this view because the product name is splitting the view into products. So in order to show the total sales for each category, either you have to remove the product name from the view. So by just drag and drop it away, you can see now we got the total sales for each category. But if you say, wait, wait, we need to have the product informations in the view, we cannot drop it. So let's go and bring it back over here. So if you need to have the product name and you still want to have the total sales for each category, we have to use the LOD expressions. So exactly in this situation where we need the help of LOD expressions to control the level of details of our aggregations. So now let's go further and understand how LOD works. Okay, so now we're gonna have a quick facts about the LOD calculations. First, LOD calculation is gonna go and aggregate the rows of the data source at the dimension level that we specify inside the calculation. So that means the dimension of the visualizations will not control the level of details. This time we're gonna have the level of details of the LOD expressions. And the LOD calculations, like the aggregate calculations, Tableau gonna go to the data source in order to query the data there and then bring the result to the visualizations. And the calculation gonna happen on the fly. That means Tableau can execute the calculation only if you bring the field to the visualizations. So Tableau will not pre-calculate and store the informations inside the data source. So again, how it works, the visualization is gonna send a query to the data source and the data source is gonna answer with the results. So this is how Tableau execute the LOD calculations. everyone we talked about the level of details many times during the tutorials but now let's understand what do we mean exactly with the level of details let's say that we use in tableau only the measure without any dimensions with that we're going to be at the level one and we will get for example the total sales if you are using the measure sales so tableau going to go and summarize all the sales inside the data source and present it as only one row one value so without using any dimensions we will get the highest level of aggregations let's go to the next level let's say that we use a dimension like the category in our small data source we have only two values so tableau gonna split this one value into two values so here we can see more details about our sales it's not only one value now we have it as two values so that means this dimension gonna split our view into two rows moving on to the third level let's say that you use the country inside the data source we have three countries that means we're gonna have three rows and we have more details now about the sales so as you can see the sales gonna split into three rows. So that means the level of details of the category is different from the country. In the category, we have two rows. In the country, we're gonna have three rows. Moving on to the last level, if you bring the order ID to the visualizations, you will get the highest level of details. It is exactly the level of details that we have inside the data source. We don't have in our data model any dimension that's gonna break this rows to more details. So we are now at the bottom, at the highest level of details, and we're gonna have exactly 15 rows because we have 15 orders. So that means each of those dimensions gonna go and break the visualizations into different level of details. The category gonna break it into two country three product name four order id gonna break it into 15 rows so that means the level of details is the highest at the order id and it's gonna be the lowest if you don't use any dimensions and the opposite if you are talking about the aggregations the highest level of aggregations if you don't use any dimensions and you're gonna get the lowest level of aggregations if you're gonna use a dimension like the order id so with that we understood each dimensions brings us to a different level of details so this is what do we mean with the level of details in Tableau. All right, guys, now we're going to go and understand the LOD functions in Tableau. But first, we can split those three functions 
into two categories. The first one gonna be the static calculations where we have only one function, it is the fixed. The second one, we have the dynamic calculations. And here we have the two functions, include and exclude. So if you want to have a fixed or static calculation, you're gonna use fixed. But if you need more dynamic, then you have to use include and exclude. The dimensions inside our visualizations or in the LOD expressions define the level of details. And each dimension has different level of details. For example, the category has only two values. That means the level of detail here is very low compared to the order ID where we have the highest level of details. So let's say that our current level of details inside the view is the country. So we have the level three. We can use the LOD expressions in order to bring the calculations to a lower level of details. And we can use the exclude or the fixed function to bring it, for example, to the level two, uh, the category. But now in order to present the calculations in the current view, what can happen? The values can be duplicated or replicated. Like we have seen in the last use case where we have the table and we duplicated or replicated all the values. Or we can use the LOD expressions to bring us to a higher level of details, like using the include or fixed. But now, if we want to bring back the calculations to the current view, we have to do aggregations, like we have done the average number of customers for each category, since the customers has higher level of details than the category. So you have to pay attention to the dimensions that you are using inside the LOD calculations. If it's gonna bring the aggregations to a higher level of details, Details, then you have to focus on the aggregate functions that you are using in order to bring the result to the current level of details in the view. So that means we have always to aggregate data in order to go back to a lower level of details or to higher level of aggregations. So always here we have to use an aggregate functions in order to come back to the current level of details. But if we are on above, it's easy. It's going to just duplicate the data and replicate it. All right, guys. So I hope that was clear. This is one of the most complicated concepts that we have in Tableau. If you compare it to all other concepts. All right, guys, now we're going to go and understand the syntax of the LOD expressions. They start with the function name. So either it's going to be the fixed, include or exclude. After that, we have the double points. Then we have to define the aggregations. It's like the aggregate calculations, something like sum of sales, average of sales, max, min and so on. But the most usual aggregation that we use here is the sum of something. Let's have a few examples. We can go with the following, like we say fixed, then we don't specify any dimensions. Then we specify the aggregations. So here we have in this example the sum of sales. Now think about the LOD expressions as you are building any view in Tableau. You always have to specify the dimensions and measures of the aggregations. So here we are telling Tableau to do the sum of sales without considering any dimensions. Now let's go and add a dimensions inside the calculation like for example the category. And here again, the same analogy. It's like you are building view from the dimension category and the aggregation sum of sales. And of course, you can go and add more dimensions like the category and the product name, the same analogy. We have two dimensions in the view, category, product name, and then we have the sum of sales. And now, of course, we can go and add more dimensions like the category, comma, product name. So the same analogy, we are adding two dimensions to the view, category, and the product name, and the aggregation is the sum of sales. And of course, we can go and use another functions like the include or exclude in those examples, or another aggregations like the average of sales and so on. So as you can see, building an LOD expression is very similar as you are building any View. you have always to define the dimensions and as well the aggregations from the measures. So that's all about the syntax of the LOD expressions. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.